the studies led to the following learnings and recommendations for Australian advertisers. Firstly, having a focus on one channel is destroying ROI. It's really, really leaving money on the table. We see as you add media channels to a campaign, ROI consistently increases over time. The fun challenge that, that O-Media gave me in this study though was diving into say, within Out of Home, did that play true as well? Does adding more formats to Out of Home generate a higher synergy and thus a higher campaign ROI? The answer was yes. In our work, we see the highest ROIs coming through from the digital channels. Now that could be different from what you've been told by some people, but it's true. However, those really high ROIs are predicated on having TV and or out of home doing the heavy lifting for you. So with TV um, and out of home in the campaign, we're keeping about 100% you know, of those digital returns. They're great, they're really strong. However, as we take TV out, as long as we've still got a strong out of home presence, we're picking up 80% of that ROI. Take that out as well, and those ROIs half. So we're leaving a lot of money on the table by not focusing on the synergy. I often get asked though, but you know, what if my campaign's really small? Shouldn't I focus just on one channel? You know, am I spreading myself too thin? The answer there is no, because generally when I look at the laydown of a campaign, we have TV at the start, you know, we're pretty high levels of it, really shouty. And then because we've got a small budget, we can only do it for a few weeks. So then we've got this long bit of nothingness coming through after it. Actually having out of home and having digital there helps you pull that campaign out and means that you're talking to the market for more time. So I think it's even more important when we're at that level to have multiple channels so that you can increase your reach for the entire campaign over the time. If you start getting to a million dollar campaign and you know, we're, we're talking a smaller campaign under that million dollar spend, that's where I'd really start thinking of having out of home and digital there rather than maybe TV. Out of home is currently underinvested in campaigns in our database. We can see quite clearly Campaigns that have 6% or less spend within out of home don't perform as well as campaigns above that 6% spot. Now there's a couple of reasons for that. One, more spend within out of home lets us have more formats. And as I mentioned, the synergy that's available from having more formats lifts not only the out of home ROI, but the campaign ROI overall. At the same time then, having enough out of home spend really helps you unlock that multi-channel synergy as well. Adding in a channel with say like you know, 2%, 3%, those sorts of spends isn't going to help us unlock it at all. So you know, the results that we saw between digital, um, TV and out of home, it really needs enough spent in there to unlock the rest of that money that's lying on the table for us. So what we see is six months or even greater buy of a particular location generates a higher ROI than just having that say two to four week buy and being in and out of the market. Like all channels, poor creative drives poor results. So I've shown this before, showing that say, you know, with the likes of digital video, 70% of the ROI is driven by the creative. Now it's not as high for um, out of home, it's at 41%, but that's still 40% of the ROI being driven by creative. And we hardly focus on it at all. And we spend a lot of time on TV talking about, you know, how the 15 and the 30 should relate. We look at across digital video, you know, what part of the campaign and the copy should be in the six versus in the long form. And yet, when we do it for out of home, we just take the same creative and put it on a board. Now, I'm working with a lot of clients who've started to realize having emotional content on large format and having more tactical call to action on retail format generates great results. Then using you know, the likes of neurotesting, making sure um, all of that creative is contextually relevant, it's really helping drive humongous results. You know, we're talking two, 300% increase um, in ROI. And finally, Australia is one of the top performing markets that we've seen across our database for out of home. Definitely the quality of real estate um, and boards that are available in Australia outperform what we're seeing across any other market that we work in.